Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division with the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an LAPD officer involved shooting that occurred in the city of Fullerton on April 27, 2021 at around 4.49 a.m. On April 27, 2021, at approximately 12.55 a.m., there was an attempt homicide in the area of Figueroa and Exposition by an individual later identified as 50-year-old Carlos Lopez. Approximately two minutes later, at 12.57, Lopez drove a white SUV to 28th and Figueroa, where he shot and killed an individual in the Starbucks drive through and then fled the location. Approximately 23 minutes later, at 1.20 a.m., Lopez shot and killed another individual in the area of 7th and Figueroa. Lopez then drove to the area of Maple Avenue and Washington Boulevard, where he again shot at another individual. LAPD Transit Services Division officers were at that intersection when they heard what appeared to be gunshots. The officers saw a white Jeep Cherokee fleeing the area at a high rate of speed. Here's the radio broadcast from those officers. 31 FB 71, can I get a backup? Shots fired, Washington and Maple. Northbound, uh, I got a victim of a uh, shooting on Maple. Is that the car? South of Washington. Uh, we are following a white SUV that was in the air of the shooting, and that was the only vehicle involved. We are westbound 10th Freeway. Can I get once warrants on 7 Norm? We're passing Western. Hey, that's license plate, say it's 7 North. Wanted for a homicide in Southwest Division. That was their shooting. That's the vehicle they're looking for. As the officers followed the vehicle on the freeway, they saw the driver of the Jeep shoot at a white Tesla that was traveling in the same direction. Here's video from one of the Tesla-mounted cameras. The officers broadcast an officer needs help call with shots fired. Here's that radio broadcast. Shots fired! Shots fired! Officer needs help! Clear shot! Where's the house on the freeway? Give us a bit distance harder! Additional units responded along with an airship. The suspect sped away, refusing to stop, resulting in the initiation of a vehicle pursuit. The pursuit traveled through several Southern California freeways. During the pursuit, California Highway Patrol officers deployed spike strips, which flattened three of the Jeep's tires. Lopez continued to flee until the vehicle came to rest on the westbound 91 freeway at Raymond Avenue. Lopez refused to exit the vehicle, resulting in SWAT responding to assist due to Lopez barricading himself in the vehicle. As negotiations were underway, Lopez shot at SWAT personnel, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. Yeah, just do a big old loop. Hernandez doesn't like when you call suspects, buddy. This is him, right? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll go head on. Yep. Yeah. Driver's side window is down. Okay, Hard turn. Hard to board. Driver's side window down. Around. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Backing up. All right, Darko. Get it up there, Darko. Put those lights on, dude. Oh, it's off his airbag. It's all right. He's got his shade on the front there. Yeah. Hands up. Hands up. Eat that bullhorn. Hey, one. step out the car. Take both hands out. Get out the car. Step out the car. We got a crossfire here. 
Can't hear you. Can't hear you. He comes out, you guys take it, we'll get it out of your way for Crossfire. Hey Darko, that's you, right? Okay. Well, I see his uh, left hand. We can't see his hands. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, shots fired, shots fired. Stay down, stay down. Two shots. That was our guys, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. stay buttoned up.
There's the pistol. You want the gun out? Yeah. I got it. Leave it there, dude. I got it. Yeah. Leave it there. I got the gun. Okay. So, let me have circle. Come on over here. Grab them, bring them out. Okay? Yeah. Nice and slow. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Lopez sustained multiple gunshot wounds and was determined to be deceased by Orange County Fire paramedics. Investigators recovered Lopez's handgun at the scene and booked it as evidence. Carlos Lopez was a 50-year-old resident of Los Angeles.